Scorpio, this is your reading for the first half of March 2020. Um, this is going to be a reading for those of you that want to know what another person is feeling and thinking of you romantically. This could be somebody that you're dealing with currently, somebody that you're thinking about, and they also have um, knowledge of you. Um, maybe it's a situation shift, maybe it's a breakup. So I'll just get right to it. The the deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. I'm just going to start off with a quick prayer. Okay. So Scorpio, let's see here. What is it that this person is feeling and thinking for you? romantically what are their feelings what are their emotions towards you in the first half of march 2020 <clears throat> wow there whoever this is there's a lot of emotions going on here okay mothering is the first card Creativity. Sorry, guys, just one sec. Okay. There's compassion. There's victim. A victim card. So, mothering, creativity, compassion, and victim. Abundance. Hearth and home. Grief. Wild woman and betrayal under the bottom of the deck. It's betrayal. Okay, Scorpio. So. This person seems to have used you or manipulated you on some level, Scorpio. And they see what they've done is wrong and they are grieving. They are actually grieving. They, they, at least that's a good thing. They actually regret what they did. So what happened here is the person has a connection with you and they feel in this connection that you nurture them. You're either very feminine. The feminine energy in you, it just takes care of this person. That's what they feel that you are to them. They want to create something with you. This could be a relationship, this could be a business, this could be partnership, any type. But there's something here that makes them want to create something with you. There's a lack of something in your life. A lack of material well-being, most likely emotional, since this is a love reading. So they do feel that there's a need, um, emotional, spiritual, physical need that's not being met. It seems they might have taken advantage of that and they turned you into the victim and they feel that they've victimized you. They see that you are full of abundance. There's so much about you, inside of you, outside of you, materialistic abundance, beauty. You basically, you've got the whole package. They also feel a sense of home with you. So when they're in your company or when they think of you, they feel very much at home, like that, that feeling when you have nice childhood memories, that feeling of being very comfortable. You can be yourself with this person. That's what this person feels for you. However, they are truly grieving. They are very guilty and regretful and remorseful for what they did to you. They feel that there was a part of you that wasn't being trustworthy, however. And you might have. You might have been just speaking some white lies. 
There might have been something that you were hiding from them. And it could have been for their own good. It might not have been. But they feel the sense of betrayal. They feel they betrayed you. They took advantage of you. And they're feeling very guilty. Because they see how beautiful you are. You're more of a nurturing figure. There's compassion towards you. You provide the feeling of home. You provide the feeling of abundance. What more do you want? <laughs> what more do you want from the Scorpio? <laughs> All right, guys, let's see now what it is. And this is the Rider Waite deck. This is also the um, Beginner's Tarot deck. So I'm just going to see what it is that uh, in, the f in, in the future or what actions this person is going to take towards you in the first half of March 2020. So let's see. What actions is this person going to take towards Scorpio? What actions is this person going to take towards this Scorpio? Okay, so there's a few things here. Two of Cups, the Death card, Ten of Wands, oh, Along with the grief card, this goes very, it just kind of gels with it. Nine of Swords. Sleepless nights, crying themselves to sleep, drinking heavily. A tower moment. Just one more for clarification. Anything else I need to know? What other actions are they going to take? Oh, yikes. So, guys, it does seem, Scorpio, that not a lot of actions are going to be taken. I think they just feel so regretful and remorseful. They just can't move on. But... On the bottom of the deck, there's a Six of Pentacles. The first card generally is the strongest, so it does seem to me that in their heart and in their mind, guys, they, they're not, they not going to show this to you, but they actually do want to be with you. They want to say sorry to you. They want to reconcile with you. This is the Death card. They want to leave the past in the past. It's done and over with. However, this situation is becoming so burdensome for them that they can't sleep at night. Nine of Swords. They can't sleep at night. They may even be getting into bad addictions. They have finally come to the realization, this is a tower, so there has been a tower moment. They've come to a realization that something has to change, or something has changed, and something has to change for this person to create a new foundation. In addition to that, the Four of Cups, right in the end here, they feel that they could have had a really good chance with you, and they missed the opportunity. And they do want to take you out for drinks, lunch, dinner. They want to actually take you out because the remorse and guilt is just too much for them to bear. They just can't bear it anymore. They did something to you and they just can't, um, they can't forgive themselves, it seems. Which means you might have to either let them, let them be, give them their space, and they'll eventually come back. Just live your life until that happens find other people. There's there's a lot of people out there, but I know there's certain people you just you really want to be with, and that's, that's the end-all be-all. That's the way love is. Okay, this literally just popped out, so like I said, wait. So I'm just going to do give you guys some advice as to what possibly can be done, what you should do, what might be done. Um... Whatever the angels want to want to provide as an answer. So this is the Angel Answers uh, Oracle Cards deck. This is from Dorian Virtues. Remain positive. That's very good. All right, guys. Reconsider. Compromises under the bottom of the deck. Okay. So this is what's happening, Scorpio. There's a lot of stuff that's happened between you guys. This feel this person's feeling really regretful, remorseful. They just feel like shit right now, basically. They don't know how to approach you. I mean, whatever happened, for some it might have been not a big deal. For others, it might be such a big deal that they just can't. Like a, a cat got their tongue, like they literally can't speak because they're feeling so bad about the situation. 
So the angels are saying, just wait, okay? Everything's going to happen with divine timing, okay? They want you to remain positive, so don't give up. Reconsider any of the plans or anything that you had in terms of um, planning or strategizing or, you know, um, basically the one thing that this shows me is that any plan that you had how to deal with this person, reconsider what you were going to do because it might not work. What you should do is what the angels are saying is compromise. So there will be part of this person that is very nasty, part of you, very nasty, we have to admit that. Both of them have to come together and there has to be a compromise. And that's like that in any relationship. You have to compromise in order for both parties to be happy, right? Both people have to be happy. Um, so yeah, this should be, it should just, just remain positive and reconsider and don't rush things. Just wait. It's very hard to wait, but in the meantime, focus on yourself, make yourself better as best as you can. And eventually this person will come around. They do have feelings for you, but they just feel so regretful as to what they did. They feel very sad. I feel sad for this person. I mean, I do feel, you know, sad for you, Scorpio, but... I feel more sad for this person because they are so sad they can't even talk to you. They don't even know how to talk to you. They don't know how to approach you because they think they pissed you off so much. That's what's happening to them. Wow. Okay, I hope this did resonate for a few and if it did, if it makes sense, just you could tell me your stories, whatever's going on because I, some of the readings make sense to me and some of them don't. But it's honestly that it, you guys are able to put it into perspective into your type of storyline. So I know how it works because I've been there, done that. Um, Scorpio, I hope you guys did resonate. And if you have any issues, you know, just um, if you want me to do a reading for you, just just uh, give me a message and, you know, I'll reach out. Um, I do health readings as well as career readings. So if you are interested in that, you can do that. Um, I would like you to like, share and subscribe my videos. I'm trying to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in mid-March. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.